Hello everyone, let's continue the part two of your beautiful crochet leaf bag. We are at round 15, you begin the same way, you chain three and you make five back post double crochets. Here you go. And then we are going to decrease our leave by making front post double crochet two together. So turning the two first front posts into one and doing four front post double crochets. And then turning the next two front post double crochet into one, decreasing front post two double crochets together. And then two back post double crochet. You are going to make two front post double crochet in the front post double crochet from the previous round. In that same front post double crochet. And then in the middle front post double crochet, just make a front post double crochet regularly. And in the next front post double crochet from the previous round, make two front post double crochets. So we turn those three front post double crochet into five. Those three front post double crochet into five front post double crochet. Here you go. Two, one and two. We are decreasing the leaves and creating new leaves. Now two back post double crochet. And again decreasing the next sleeve. So turning the two front post double crochet into one. Making four front post double crochets. And then turning the last two front post double crochet into one, decreasing front post two double crochet together. And then you are going to back post double crochet in the next six stitches. And make a front post double crochet behind your last decrease from the previous round, closing your leaf up. Your leaf is done, so pretty. So you are done with your first uh, quadrant, the first part of your pattern. You're going to repeat that three more times. I have uh, written what you need to do three times right here. So you can just look at it at your pace and repeat exactly what we have done three more times. And I will meet you at the end of your round. Look how gorgeous it is beginning to look. I absolutely love this pattern so much. I love the 3D effect, it is just gorgeous. Now 
and your round as usual by slip stitching at the top of the chain three wrapping from behind chain three counts as your first back post double crochet and then you're going to make your five more back post double crochet just regularly and we are at round 16 there you go you're going to decrease turning the two first front post double crochet into one then you're going to make two front post double crochet regularly and decrease turning the two last one two last front post double crochet into one for this 16th round and then you're going to make two back post double crochets and then we're going to work on creating the new leaves as we close the big one all right, for those two new leaves, you are going to make a front post double crochet in the front post double crochet from the previous round. And then you're going to chain one and in around that same front post double crochet from the previous round, make another front post double crochet. And that will be the leaf, the base of your next leaf. All right. Now you're going to turn the next front post double crochet into a back post double crochet. So even though it looks like a front post double crochet, you're going to come from behind and make a back post double crochet around the front post double crochet from the previous round. Turning the front post double crochet into a back one. Voila, just like that. Front post double crochet in the next post around the next post and then again around the next front post double crochet from the previous round you're going to make a back post double crochet turning the front post double crochet into a back post double crochet all right and then in the next front post double crochet you're going to make front post double crochet chain one and around the same front post double crochet from the previous round make another front post double crochet and here you go you have your two leaves separated by a stem two back post double crochet and then decreasing the leaf the big leaf by turning the two first front post double crochet into one making of making two front post double crochets and again turning the two last front double crochets into one front post two double crochets together and voila And now make six back post double crochet together. And turn the next front post double crochet into a back double crochet, just coming from it from behind instead of the front. Voila. And this is your quadrant. This is what you're going to repeat three times. Again, everything is right there on top. You just need to follow this three more times and I will meet you at the end of your round. Finish your round 16 as usual, slip stitching at the top of the chain three, wrapping from behind, chaining three, which will count as your first back post double crochet. One, two, three, and making five more back post double crochet. We are at your 17th round. See, as I told you, every round is a different, and that is why it makes it a little tricky for this leaf bag. But the stitches are easy now what you're going to do is a front post double crochet two together twice so turning the two first front post double crochet into one 
and then turning the next two front post double crochet into one making sure to wrap the last one around the decrease from the previous round and just like that you will have two front post double crochet see how your leaf is closing here and then you're going to make two back post double crochets then we're getting to our new leaves or baby leaves that still need to grow in the front post double crochet you're going to make a front post double crochet and then in the chain one space you're going to make a v-stitch which i remind you is a double crochet a chain and a double crochet And then in the next front post double crochet, just make a front post double crochet. Now we're going to turn the next back post double crochet into two. So we're going to increase. We're increasing the leaf, but we need two back post double crochets in between the leaves and the stem. So you see the back post double crochet you're going to make two back post double crochet around that same post from the previous round one and two and voila now we have two back post double crochets in between our leaf and our stem front post double crochet around the front post double crochet from the previous round and again mirroring the other side we're going to turn the this one back post double crochet into two so making two back post double crochet around that back post double crochet from the previous round and voila oopsie come on get back in voila two back post double crochet a front post double crochet around the front post double crochet from the previous round and then in that chain space a v-stitch double crochet chain one double crochet and then a front post double crochet around the front post double crochet from the previous round voila here we go you can see those leaves forming and the big leaves are getting smaller the smaller leaves are getting bigger make two a back post double crochet now one in each back post double crochet from the previous round and we are going to decrease closing our big leaf by making turning those two first front post double crochets into one and turning the two last front post double crochets into one as well Et voilà. We are going to end this quadrant with seven back post double crochets. And that is the way we're going to end our quadrant for the next few rounds. It is seven back post double crochet instead of six. Once you have your seven back post double crochet, you are done with your quadrant and you will, re you will repeat this three more times and of course I will put right here what you need to do three more times exactly as usual that is your seven back post double crochet voila quadrant done repeat three times and I will meet you at the end of your round All right, we are at the round 18. So you ended your round 17 as usual, chain three, and you are going to make five back post double crochets. Mm -hmm. 
Now you're going to, to turn those two front post double crochets into one, decreasing and therefore closing your leaf. Ta-da! Super pretty. Two back post double crochets. Two front post double crochets. A V-stitch in the chain space, widening your leaf. And two front post double crochet. Around the front post double crochet from the previous round. Two back post double crochets. A front post double crochet, two back post double crochets, two front post double crochets, a V stitch in the chain one space, and two front post double crochets. Beautiful. Two back post double crochets. And then closing the next leaf by making one front post double crochet two together. Beautiful. And now making seven back post double crochet to end your first quadrant. And you're going to repeat this quadrant three more times and i will meet you at the end of your round Here we are at the beginning of your round 19, chain three, and as usual, make five back post double crochets. Beautiful. And then one front post double crochet around the decrease we had done the previous round done with your leaf and then two back post double crochets and here you are going to make three front post double crochets And in the chain one, you're not going to make a V-stitch, you're going to make two double crochets in that chain one space. Those leaves are going to be a little smaller, they are going to consist in eight front post double crochets eventually. Two, now you're going to make three more front post double crochets. And the first leaf. has its final size, eight front post double crochet it will be, and then two back post double crochets, And then a front post double crochet around the stem. Two back post double crochets. And 
and we're going to mirror the other leaf that we just did which is three front post double crochets two double crochet in the chain one space and then three front post double crochets Voila, and now you're going to make two back post double crochet. And a front post double crochet to finish your leave. Right there. And then seven back post double crochet to finish your quadrant. Repeat this quadrant three more times. Here is exactly what you need to do three times and I will meet you at the end of your round. Here is your bag from the right side, wrong side. And when you fold it, you can clearly see the leaves taking shape. So, so beautiful, I love it. I hope you like it too. All right, let's continue. Finish your round 19 as usual, and we are at our round 20. Chain three and make five back post double crochets. All right, so you're turning the next front post double crochet into a back post double crochet. We are done with the leaf officially. Voila. And then you are going to make two back post double crochets. And then you are going to make eight front post double crochets. A front post double crochet around each of the front post double crochet plus around the two double crochet from the previous round. When you have eight front post double crochets, you're going to make two back post double crochets. A front post double crochet around your stem and two back post double crochets. And then again, eight front post double crochets. Two back post double crochets. And another back post double crochet to secure your leaf because we are done with it. No more leaf right there. Turning the front post double crochet into a back post double crochet. And then you finish your quadrant by making seven back post double crochet. This is one quadrant. You repeat this three more times. Here is what you need to repeat right there. And I will meet you again at the end of your round. Finishing your round 20 as usual. Let's meet for round 21. Beautiful. All right, now round 21 is going to be a little different. You chain three and then you make eight front, uh, sorry, eight back post double crochet. And now we have nine in total. 
chain three count as the first back post double crochet and then you make eight more and now we are going to begin to decrease our leaf turning the two first front post double crochet into one and then making four front post double crochet and turning the two last one into one and then making two back post double crochet now the stem is going to turn into our last leaf so you're going to make around the stem a front post double crochet chain one and front post double crochet and then two back post double crochet in around the next two back post double crochet and again decreasing the next sleeve turning the two first front post double crochet into one making four front post double crochet in the middle and decreasing the two last front two front post double crochet turning them into one so it's more of the same we're decreasing turning those leaves we're decreasing giving our leaf the shape now you're going to make 10 back post double crochet to end your quadrant you begin with 9 and you end with 10 And you are going to repeat this quadrant three more times. And I will meet you at the end of your round 21. Ending as usual stitching at the top of the chain three wrapping the stitch from behind chain three and now eight back post double crochet reminding you that the first chain three counts as your first back post double crochet so in total nine back post double crochet Now we are going to continue to decrease our leaf, turning the first front post double crochets into one, making two front post double crochets, and then turning the two last front post double crochets into one. Making two back post double crochet, and tackling our last leaf which will be in the middle of the two big ones that we are finishing. So you're going to make a front post double crochet around your front post double crochet. And then in the V, in the chain one, sorry, you're going to make a V stitch. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And then make another front post double crochet around the front post double crochet from the previous round. Perfect. And then you're going to make two back post double crochets and now you're going to decrease your next leaf by turning the two front post double crochets into one making two front post double crochets And then turning the two last front post double crochets into one. And voila. And then you're going to make 10 back post double crochet to finish your quadrant. And you're going to repeat this quadrant three times. And I will meet you at the end of your round 22. Finishing your round 22 as usual. Let's meet for round 23. Chain 3. 
and make it back post double crochets. Here you have your nine back post double crochet counting the chain three as your first and again decrease your leaf making a front post double crochet two together twice turning the two first front post double crochets into one and turning the two last front post double crochet into one Voila, two back post double crochets. You're going to make two front post double crochets. Still creating this last leaf of ours and a V stitch in the chain space from the previous round. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And then making two front post double crochets. Two back post double crochets. And then make a front post double crochet twice, a front post double crochet decrease twice, turning the two first front post double crochet into one, turning the two last front post double crochet into one, narrowing your leaf, giving it its shape, shape, and ending your quadrant by making ten back post double crochet. And repeat this quadrant three more times. I will meet you at the end of your round 23. All right, round 24, chain three, and make eight back post double crochets. Chain three count as your first. And then you're going to make one decrease, turning the two front post double crochet from the previous round into one. Around the decrease, up and around the next decrease, turning those two front post double crochets into one. Look at that, so cute, look at this cute leaf. And then you're going to make two back post double crochets. And then we're going to work on your new leaf, making three front post double crochets. And then in the chain space, don't make a V stitch, just make two double crochets in that chain one space from the previous round. And then three front post double crochets. Make two back post double crochets. And narrow the next leaf down by uh, turning those two front post double crochet into one. Voila, you're going to finish your quadrant by making your last 10 back post double crochet. And you're going to repeat this quadrant three times and I will meet you at the end of your round. Mm -hmm. 
and we are at round 25 chain 3 and make 8 back post to double crochets and then you're going to close your leaf by making your final front post double crochet around the decrease from the previous round Ta -da! we have one leaf to be working on now two back post double crochets And then you're going to make a front post double crochets in each and every one of the next eight stitches. So you're going to make three front post double crochets and then you're going to make a front post double crochet around each of the double crochet from the previous round and then three more front post double crochet total of eight front post double crochets. We are at the widest part of your last leaf. make two back post double crochets and close your last leaf right here with a front post double crochet finish your quad round by making 10 back post double crochet repeat this quadrant three more time and I will meet you at the end of your 25th round we are at your 26th round you're going to chain three and make it back post double crochet Once you have your 8 back post double crochet plus the chain 3, you're going to turn the next front post double crochet in a back post double crochet. Voila. Officially no more leaves to work on here. Make 2 back post double crochets. And let's tackle the last leaf. We are going to begin to decrease our leaf, turning the two front post, two first front post double crochets into one, and then making four front post double crochets in the middle. And then turning the two last front post double crochets into one. Voila, two back post double crochets. Turning the next, the next front back, front post double crochet into a back post double crochet. And now making 10 back post double crochet. This is your quadrant. Do it three more times and I will meet you at the end of your 26th round. Voila, let's tackle the 27th round. You're going to make 11 back post double crochet. The first chain 3 will count as your first back post double crochet. So you will have 12 back post double crochet in, in total, counting the chain 3. And now we are reaching your last leaf, which we are going to decrease, turning the two first front post double crochet into one, then making two front post double crochet in the middle, and turning the two last, oopsie, no one, <laughs> two front post double crochets, and then turning the two last one into one front post double crochet. Uh huh. And now you're going to make 13 back post double crochet 
and this is going to be your quadrant. You're going to repeat this three times and I will meet you at the end of your 26th round. This is what your work will look like. It's beginning to look a little like a basket. This is what you want. This is the wrong side in, which is the kind of octopus looking inside and then you're the right side of your work facing you. Begin as usual, chain three and make 11 back post double crochets. And we're going to continue by narrowing our leaf, our last leaf. And you're going to make a decrease twice, turning the two first front post double crochets into one. And voila. And then the two last front double crochet into one. Voila. Perfect. And then you're going to make back post double crochet in the next 13 back post double crochets and you are going to repeat this quadrant three more times. We are at round 29, chain three, make 11 back post double crochets. And then we're going to turn the two front post double crochet into one, beginning to close our last leaf. Voila. And then make 13 back post double crochet. This is your quadrant. Make it three more times. We are getting there guys, getting there faster and faster. Here we are at round 30. Begin the same way, chain three and make 11 back post double crochets. And then you are going to close our leaf by making a front post double crochet around the decrease from the previous round. Ta-da! Just like that. And then 13 back post double crochet, repeating this quadrant three times. And this is what your work will look like. It's beginning to look a lot like a crochet leaf and back. <laughs> beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Look at that. We created this. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Oh, I love it so much. Gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, so what we're going to do now for this next round is really chaining three and making a back post double crochets all around. So chaining three and making 11 back post double crochets and then turning the front post double crochet of the little peak of your leaf into a back post double crochets. So do your 11 back post double crochets right there and then turn the front postable crochet of your leaf into a back postable crochet and then make 13 back postable crochet and repeat these three more times mm, getting there And now from uh, rounds 31 to 35, I did rows of a back post double crochet all around and around and around, beginning and ending your uh, rounds as usual. This is what my bag looked like, super cute. And now it is time to grab your handles and uh, 
and let me show you how to do that you take a, a stitch marker and you're going to find you see when you look at the wrong side of your bag you find that last little uh, stitch on top of your leaf it's pretty easy to see from the back side and you make you place a stitch marker and you do that on top of each and every last leaf at the top that is the four quadrants we had made all right once you have your stitch markers at the four on top of the four leaves you are going to begin your round as usual and you're going to chain three and you're going to back post double crochet your way to the first stitch marker and you're going to stop two stitches before your stitch marker so your stitch marker is in a stitch two stitches before that stitch you are going to stop so make back post double crochets until two stitches before the stitch marker here is your stitch marker count two stitches before one two so you have uh, two more back post double crochets to make one then one more okay two stitches to Hedwig <laughs> take Hedwig out take a, your a little handle and the little round circular part of your uh, of your handle you're going to place it like that you're going to take your crochet hook and go through your handle and through the next stitch and we're going to actually single crochets we're not going to do back post double crochet you're going to go to the next stitch pass your crochet hook through the handle through the stitch yarn over back to the stitch and through the handle give it a little tug yarn over and through all the loops on your crochet hook now you're going to go to the next stitch pass your hook through the handle through the stitch again regularly yarn over through your stitch through your handle two loops on your hook yarn over through all the loops on your handle and you are going to repeat this three more times yarn over through the handle through the stitch yarn over and back through the stitch through the handle two loops on your hook yarn over through all the loops on your hook twice more to the next stitch and here you go once more that has a four stitch around your handle and then to the next so your handle was flush to your work with the handle hanging down voila and you did that five times and this is what your work will look like it's super sturdy this will be the wrong the right side of your work and that will be the wrong side of your work now what you're going to do is you're going to continue back posting back post double crochet in the next around the next post right there until you meet two stitches before the next stitch marker you had put and then you're going to take the other handle the other side of the handle and you're going to repeat the same thing you will place the other end of your handle just doing the same thing on the other side or right there two stitches before the next stitch marker repeating the next steps all right so you have back post double crochet your way to two stitches before the stitch marker take the stitch marker off again in our case this is uh, harry potter all right take harry potter away now take the other end of your handle the circular part making sure not to twist your handle of course and place it flush hanging down as we did before and repeat those steps doing those five single crochet through the handle and through the stitch as we did before securing the other end of your handle Here 
Et voilà, one handle is attached thirdly. You're going to continue to back post double crochet until the, you reach two stitches before the next and repeat it with the other handle. And then you are going to continue uh, for the next round, making a round of back post double crochet. And when you meet that round on top of your handle, you're going to just leave your handle down like this and you're going to make double crochets on top of the single crochet you had just made by attaching your handle, just like that. So with, the, with still the handle hanging down, just make pick up double crochets on top of the single crochets attaching the handle. That is what you're going to do. Continue back post double crocheting in between the handles and then when you reach the handle making double crochet on top of the single crochet you used to attach it. And just like that it will be seamless and beautiful. Here is what your bag will look like and of course if you line it it will make it more sturdy and less soft around the handles. I continued with one more round of all back post double crochet all around and then I fastened off. And just like that you created this beautiful crochet leave handbag. This is what it will look like with your handle attached. It is super gorgeous. I love it. You can choose any kind of handles you would like. And here is the other bag that I had made with the macrame yarn and with the handle that I created from scratch, making an eye cord with little bamboo circular uh, little rings. And I will show you how to create your own handles like that in my next tutorial, so stay posted. In the meantime, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. This handbag is so gorgeous. I hope you like my version of it. I hope it helped you understand a little more how to make it and don't hesitate to send me pictures of your bags either to my Facebook or uh, tag me on Instagram hashtag Anu Crochet. I hope to see you soon for a next tutorial and I hope your summer is ending nicely and I will see you soon. Mm -hmm.